Apple's iPad Mini 2 is now being rumored as delayed for 2014. Halo's Spartan Assault game for Windows Phone 8 gets launch details. And Google's Eric Smith is seen modeling the white Moto X. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I'm torn between being drunk this weekend or working out. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some unexpected and early news as Sony has just sent out press invitations for their event to happen at IFA, which is two months away and still it's interesting that Sony's already letting people know that they're going to have something hot. Last year they launched a couple of Xperia's, the Xperia T, the Xperia J, which never really took off, but this year they've got the Sony Onami up their sleeve and apparently this phone will have a huge gigantor tablet display along with a 20 megapixel camera, so stay tuned for this one as it'll probably be the next fabric you'll buy. Now let's talk about the Nokia Lumia 1020. As we know, the pre-orders begin on July 16th, but if you order this phone on the Microsoft Store online, the company is giving out a limited amount of camera grips for the phone, and that's 80 bucks, so that's a pretty good deal. Stay tuned for that one, and aside from that, if you're interested in that Camera Pro software that's coming to the Lumia 1020, well, Nokia just confirmed that it's coming to the Nokia Lumia 920, the 925, and the 928. Just don't ask me when. Speaking of Windows Phone, we don't know why Microsoft has taken so long to bring Halo into their smartphone platform, but the game is going to be called Halo Spartan Assault, and it's going to cost you $7, and will be available later this month, but with a catch. Sadly, it's going to be exclusive for Verizon during the first coming weeks, and we don't know when it's going to be available for everybody else, so stay tuned if you're on Verizon. Speaking of Verizon, we've got some leaked photographs of the Moto X running on their 4G LTE network, which is kind of interesting since we've got the Motorola Droid Ultra lineup also coming to Verizon. Don't know how that's going to play out, but interesting. We've got some more leaks about some special materials coming for faceplates for this phone. Apparently we were getting wood, uh, ceramic materials, and we're not sure if those are really credible, but we've got Eric Schmidt on photographs using the Moto X in white, and it looks like some sort of ceramic, so stay tuned on how that's going to play out. And finally, for the sad news of the day, credible reports have the next generation iPad mini being slated as delayed until early 2014. We were expecting this tablet to make their yearly cycle and be available by October or sometime within the fall of this year, but apparently there will be two models of the iPad mini, one with the retina display and one without it, which is uh, interesting to see why that's going to happen. And still, obviously, we are going to have the iPad 5 that will probably be launched within the fall. Not sure why this delay is happening, most probably because of that retina display module, but anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. What is your next tablet for this year? What are your plans or which tablet do you want to buy? In my case, I have two tablets on my eyesight. One would be the iPad 5 and the other would be the future generation Nexus 7. So let's see how that goes, but leave us a comment down below which is your next tablet. And you know the drill. For an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and top world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.